Good morning and welcome back. You know, the Ryman is the mother church of country music, but like many things this last year, it's moving to the outdoors. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us live with what's happening there. So Aaron, good morning. What are they officially unveiling today? Well, good morning, Ben. So this is something they've been wanting to do for a very long time, but they'll be unveiling their new outdoor stages right here behind me on the plaza area. And the first people to be performing on it today will be the Fisk Jubilee Singers fresh off of their Grammy win. The Fisk Jubilee Singers are still floating on cloud nine after winning their first ever Grammy. When I drive around or walk around or shop around, Everyone is excited that Fisk University Jubilee Singers finally have won a Grammy. It's thrilling to, to, to know that they've actually uh, won a Grammy, and that Grammy actually was produced here at the Ryman. The Fisk Jubilee Singers in the Ryman have had a relationship longer than all of us have been alive. Historically, the Fisk Jubilee Singers have performed here, I believe, since 1892. So it comes at no surprise the group was invited out to be the first to perform on the Ryman's new outdoor stage. I believe in relationship building and they have really done their best to keep our relationship going. This stage has been something in the works since 2015. We have lights that are on there. We have it uh, fully powered. Opera Entertainment Group President Scott Bailey hopes it adds to the fan experience and enhances Broadway too because they plan to line up musical acts on a consistent basis. We're going to uh, take advantage of what I consider really a cultural corridor that we have now with the African American uh, Museum. Um, I think that uh, you're going to see a lot of energy and an opportunity for uh, fans to, to come in and not only enhance the experience of going into the, to the Ryman, but also be able to be able to have a great environment here. Dr. Kwame says people should just be ready to enjoy some music today. When the performer sings from his or her spirit, allowing his or her emotions to flow with the music, I believe that's what affects the listener. So that's what we strive to do. Now that ribbon cutting ceremony is happening at two o'clock this afternoon and the Ryman will be streaming the entire thing over on their Facebook account so you can catch that there and also happening tomorrow at four o'clock on Fisk University's campus. They will be celebrating the Fisk Jubilee Singers for their Grammy win and the public is invited to attend that as well.